I haven't drove through a McDonald's in years. I'm totally ashamed for one, the way I look, and for two, <laughs> yeah. So let me explain, people. I'm all about the vegan, healthy living lifestyle, but you know, sometimes you need a burger. Just kidding. <laughs> That's what you probably expected me to say. I don't even know how to order at one of these things. Hold, please. Hello? Hello. How may I help you? I need a number two with extra onions. And and it comes with cheese, right? Yes. And then, um, you know, it can be the small whatever. And then... Um, the smallest is the medium. I'm sorry? The smallest size I can make the meals immediate. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then um, the drink of Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, could I complete your order? Yes, sir. So, sir, do you want that? The first one. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, your girl loves double meat cheeseburgers, apparently, or whatever. Quarter pounders? I don't know. Basically, if you don't know already, now you know. It's for my daddy poo because I have to do this types of things. Hold, please. Hi. So before we continue any further with this vlog, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, which is my highly offensive car visor. Um, I don't know what to say. Apparently, I am better at putting makeup on my car visor than my face. So, so do you want it? All right. Are you ready for a Halloween meal? Oh, uh, sure. I'm going to pass out apples to all the kids. They're going to hate me. <laughs> I haven't drove through a McDonald's in years. I feel so special. Not really. I'm kind of embarrassed because if anybody sees my car here, this is ruining my reputation. Thank you. Have a good day. saying if I don't do these types of things for my daddy poo or people in my family Oops. Can you back yes thank you as I was saying if I don't do these types of things for my daddy poo or people in my family um, they don't answer my phone calls and they don't need me so yeah this is why I do this. And I don't tend to do this often. Like most of the time, I would have been like, no sir, you're getting the subway today. Is my makeup even on right? No, it's not even blended. You know, I just did this very quickly. I just got done with my workout and out of the shower. I didn't have time to do any of this besides blow dry it. And we are rushing to my dad's to get him a quarter pounder. That sounds horrible, I know, but it's true. And also, I could have put on some lipstick to make this more, you know, enticing to watch. But he is doing a, um, what's it called? Garage sale. He's doing a garage sale. And basically, he's overwhelmed and he hasn't eaten anything for breakfast because he was setting out and stuff. But he got so busy setting out everything and he can't set out everything because he's so busy. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if that made sense, but it did in my head. It's just, things make sense in my head, but whenever I try to verbalize them, they don't make sense. These people are probably thinking I am so egotistical looking at myself into a viewfinder as I put my makeup on. So, we are rushing to give him his bear girl. Hmm, his big fat juicy cow with a lot of cow pash hanging off of it. That's all right. I don't, um, Thank you. And there it is, my friends. The heart desired felt moment my dad will see here in a second. Okay, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here before somebody sees me. And we have arrived. Let me get my lunch bag. Yummy. Not really. Oh, 
want me to set it inside or you want it out here on this chair? You set it on this chair. Don't worry, Daddy, I got your big juicy lunch bag. I try to call those people. There's a little bear. He said that he's not enjoying the fun. Get off of that! Anybody want to come and take our junk? Anybody want to push Daddy off the ladder? Now you're just being risky. You better stop that. A dollar. Make it a dollar. Man, my life sucks. I have to go get another one. Hello. I helped my dad. I got to stop saying hello, and I've got to come. I've got to, and I've got to stop coming on here looking dead and froed. But look, I stole this from my daddy's garage sale-ish. She. And I also stole this too. Earrings. They're my little sisters that I gave to her at one point. And she is putting them in the garage sale. Tina. And also, guys, I found some love ne love nethers. Love letters from my fancy old little brother. Now actually, it's his bucket list, y'all. It made me so happy to read because I actually did this with them at one point in time. One summer, I just wanted to make a bucket list for some things that we needed to do together. And to read his kind of just brought me back in time. I'll go through it with y'all here in a second if you're at all interested. Anywho, I'm gonna go home because I've stayed here a little bit longer than what I have wanted, if you know what I'm saying. 